Hey Kipsters, so this should be the third video that you're watching, and as you can see from the title, this is actually the reverse of the first video. Now we're taking a decimal from word form, so I'm going to give you the words, and you're going to write it in standard form, which is straight up the numbers. I uh, keep on showing this screen in the very beginning, because it's just super important to have memorized, knowing all of your place names, what they look like, uh, how they're represented in Kippish with box, bars, bytes, bits, crumbs, and what they represent as fractions and as decimals. Uh, so definitely keep studying that and make sure you have that memorized, okay? All right, so here we go. Here is a decimal written in word form three and seven tenths. The steps are pretty simple and they're kind of like something you would have done last year with Try Big Mac Thursday. But in this case, what you're gonna do uh, is actually underline the place name and that will tell you how far out you're going to go into decimal land. So in this case, since it's tenths, we're only going one out. So we're going to draw like this. We know we're always going to put a ones decimal point and then only going one out since it says tenths. Now, as you remember, the and is the decimal point, which means that to the left of the and is three. So take a guess what we're putting in there. That's right, three. Clearly for this problem, it's a more simple one. Seven is the only digit left. It really has no other place to go. Uh, and it tells you where it's gonna go. It says seven tenths. So I'm gonna put my seven there. So three and seven tenths is 3.7. You can always check by applying the skill you learned in the other video to this, which is read this number. It is three and seven tenths. You know you're right. All right, let's try a harder one. 17 hundredths. Okay, one thing I noticed right away is there no, there's no and, and I, but I'm still going to follow the same steps. I'm gonna underline that place name hundredths, which means how many steps out into decimal land am I going? Go ahead, call it out. Did you say two? If you did, you were right. You always keep the ones there. Uh, you have your decimal point, but the big point here is we're going two spaces out because it says hundredths. We have nothing in the ones place, so I'm going to put nothing there. And here's the deal. The 17, it goes in the hundredths place. So watch what I do, but don't freak out. Now, you and I both know that you cannot fit two digits in one place. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the one to the right and bump the one to the left to look like that. So I'm going to show that again. The 17 goes in the hundredths place, but you can't have two digits in the same place. So you keep the one to the right and bump the one to the left. So the answer is 0 0.17. Or if you read it again, it's 17 hundredths. All right. On your own, guided practice. Uh, and, and what that means again is you're going to solve this problem, uh, and you're going to press pause on your computer now, solve it, and then you're going to check back with me to see how you did. So go ahead and press pause. Go ahead, press pause. Thanks. All right. Hopefully if you're watching this section, you've already tried to write the, this word, these words, into standard form. So first step I would have done, underline the 10,000th place. And you all should remember that goes deep into decimal land. In fact, how many spaces in the decimal land land does that go? Call it out, please. Hopefully you have something like that on your paper. That's four deep into decimal land, 10th, 100th, 1,000th, 10,000th. You know the and is for the decimal point, and we're gonna circle the three and put that there. So put a check next to it if you have that right so far. Now, you take the 200, which is right here, and you put it in the 10,000th place. Again, do not freak out by that. We're not done yet. Take the whole 200, put it in the 10,000th place, and then you keep the one to the right, and then bump the others to the left. So watch. That's what it should look like. One digit can be in one place only. You can't have two digits. So let me show that one more time. 200 in the 10,000th place, keep the one on the right, 
and bump the others to the left. As you can still see, we have nothing here, but we have to fill that with a zero. So the correct answer would be 3.0200. You can check yourself by reading this. Three decimal points as and. This is 200 ten thousandths. Okay. I understand that you might need to watch that again because that one was a little tricky. Uh, if you're good to go, then here are the five on your own questions. Press pause now because the screen's going to pop off in a second. So press pause, do these five problems on your own, uh, and use the strategy that you were taught in this video. Thanks as always for listening, Kipsters.